my family was born here, brought up here. It's just so small that like everybody gets to know each other. The 30,000 population family, because that's what we are, we're a family. Everyone knows each other and everyone helps each other. Everyone follows football. At the workplace, at school, everyone, the majority will speak about football. Uh, just walking around Gibraltar and living in Gibraltar, you realise how much we love football and how much getting into the AFL means, means for, for everyone. My fondest memories are always in the summer, I guess, um, because there was no school, so you were able to play football maybe in the mornings, then, then go to the beach, then play some more football in, in the evenings. And Basically, I started playing football since I was, probably since I could walk. I would say that football has played a big role in my life as I've grown up. But football for me is everything, really. It's been my hobby since I was, I was able to kick a ball, really. I wake up and obviously, I've got too much work, but my job is really to distress myself, I just go and kick a ball. On match days, I, I, I would wake up in the morning, have a, have a good breakfast, um, think about the game that I, I need to play in the evening. But then I, 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 would, I would just go to work and concentrate on, on, on my day job, um, so on, on performing and, and dealing and and assisting clients. My job in title of a uh, sh shift work. I'm a middleman. Ships come in tight for refueling and provisions, delivery of everything really. While some training, I have to obviously just stop my training to pick up the phone. It's not good obviously having to train with a phone on or having to hand over the phone to one of the coaches for me to be on standby. I'm doing A-levels, which you know, which I need to get into university in case football does not work out. Um, and that takes up a lot of time, which obviously clashes with my football. Um, so you know, it's sort of like a, it's a battle for, for time and I need time. I like to think that I have that professional outlook in everything I do and the way I eat, the way I take care of myself. And if, if you ask me if I have enough hours in the day to dedicate to football, then for the standard that, that we are aiming at, then probably not. It is a disadvantage, you know, because you can't make a living out of what you want to do and what you deserve, you know, to, to make a living out of. It's not always, it's not always a financial bit. It's also just a, that you know you deserve to be playing at that level and why, why shouldn't you? Because obviously I like my job. I wouldn't change my job for anything really, just for football to be honest. We as a people, we, we have our own identity, our, our, our own culture um, and you, you won't find um, people like Gibraltarians anywhere in the world. The people deserve a, a, a team to, to which they can call their own and, and which they can follow. It started off you know, simply for the enjoyment but then as I grew up, I realized that you know, I wanted to do it at a professional level and make a living out of it. Always having fun whilst doing it because it's something which I, I love to do. It's been part of my life for so many years. Like We've got this big opportunity right now. And I won't miss it for anything.